Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial for M Crater. So this one's gonna be a little bit different. Um, I noticed that there was a lot of people that throughout like the time period um, that are not familiar with how to actually import the workspaces or at least don't try. Now there is some key features why importing the res like the workspaces that I create for my um, examples and stuff like that can actually help with doing projects and stuff. Uh, the tutorials, they're going to be very specific for a certain version for when I make the video for. So say right now it's 1.18. So it's going to very be specific for what kind of mechanics are for 1.18 for Minecraft. Um, older videos might be for say something like 1.17 or 1.16, somewhere, somewhere around there, right? So a lot of the code will be changed and stuff might break. Uh, sometimes procedures break and the only way to actually fix that is to actually import the workspace and export the procedures again. So I'll be covering how to do that again as well as some key components uh, or you know things that can actually help with uh, troubleshooting today as well as you know just using the actual example workspace uh, to see how things work. So I'm on my website right now and uh, we're going to be basically porting a older, older, um, uh, or older workspace that I have. So I, if you go to the blog and then have a uh, blog post right here, which is for all the older downloads that I haven't ported yet for older versions. So I want to basically port the one that is for biome specific leaves. So we're going to do that one right now. And we're just going to download that and it brings us to our my Google Drive. So we can just download it through this button right here where it says download. And then that will download to our computer. So once that's downloaded, then what we can do is we can go ahead to our downloads folder. Probably have a whole bunch of stuff in here. And then we'll just drag that to our desktop, extract it. So right click on it and then go, uh, where is it? Extract all. And then the, the extractor will come up and then we can just extract all. It'll create a folder in the same folder that we're on. So in this case, it's on our desktop. And then a lot of these older files, they're actually in folders inside of folders. I figured out how to fix that a while ago, but I will just kind of move that over. So you'll probably notice there's a pretty big structure to a lot of the workspaces. Uh, a lot of them will have uh, procedures. If not, then there will be an M creator one with procedures and workspaces. And then there will be things like uh, models, textures, and um, block bench usually for folders for those. What we're interested in is the workspace. And this one actually has a couple different uh, things that we can give a shot. So this one has a zip and then there's the MCR one which is a little bit different. We're going to be most focusing on the zip file because those are the ones that are relevant for this day and age. So we need to boot up the M creator and once we get to the loading page uh, for selecting our project what we want to do is we want to go import from file. So this is the one that we want. And then we're going to go to our desktop and then we're going to to find the um, biome specific leaves, workspace, zip, and then we're going to select the zip folder. Now this one, it's going to need a folder somewhere in your M creator folder or M creator workspaces. So you can create a new one by just basically going right clicking on the empty space going new folder and then we're going to just go and call it biome specific uh, leaves and then we're just going to make sure that folder is selected but not highlighted like for e editing and then we're going to go select folder. So then it's going to basically say that this is for an older version for Minecraft and we're just going to say okay. 
and then we're going to port it to whatever version that we actually want to port it to. So we can either port it to 1.16 in this particular version of M Creator or 1.18. So I'm going to do 1.18 and then we're going to click OK. And then this will take a couple seconds to actually set up. But once it's done, what we can do is we can actually test to see if everything works. And it looked like there was a couple procedures in there that we'll be able to um, get for um, exporting and stuff like that too. So again, another reason while we're waiting for this uh, for workspaces is sometimes people um, ask or report that things are broken. For example, like a workspace or something like that. And uh, often the tutorials that I do don't really cover too much, like every every specific feature. And with the way Blocky set up, it's sometimes really easy to miss a step or not have a certain operation uh, for a thing, or if it's just a like a different operation for something, it could throw the entire script off. And not knowing how that all works, it could really impact if the procedure or mod actually or like example actually works so importing the workspace can also actually help with that because then you can test to see if it actually works on the workspace that i provide and you'll be able to determine if it's your workspace or not so again importing the procedures i do provide all of the procedures in the procedures folder so there's there'll be one randomly in here. So this one looks like there's only um, one particular procedure for some reason, but looks like there's actually two procedures with this particular one. So we'll fix that up. Not too we'll fix that up today. But um, all right. So looks like there's a couple icons missing. Let's just track our resources. Doesn't look like there's any textures. So I'm not sure about that. This is an older workspace, so it's quite possible the textures got removed, which is very possible. So we'll go in here, and it looks like they're all empty. So we'll have to probably fix that up. But um, I do have an older workspace that we can uh, quickly test. Uh, I know this one is working. I just imported it the other day. Uh, that one's for the teleporter. So we'll do that one instead. So again, we just want to select the folder and then we will go ahead and go to the teleporter and then we'll go to mcrater workspaces. And then the, the original version that this one was made for was 2020.3. Uh, so we'll select that one that we have there. And then we can basically set a new one. So I'm just going to call this teleporter two. And we need to make the folder for that. So new folder, paste that there, select it, select the folder, and then it will generate. So I think the, the reason why the other one was, is missing the textures is because it's literally the oldest tutorial in my list. Um, this was probably before they added um, certain things. A lot of the older workspaces were just coming into zip files at that point so that's why there was a mcr file as well as a zip file so uh, most likely it has to do with just how old the tutorial was but most of the other ones uh, from like 2020 uh, and stuff like that will actually work as you can see the textures imported on this one we also have our procedure and another thing with the procedures is it will actually properly um, generate all the blocks that are needed when it goes through that generation process. So uh, if there's something that's bugging out when you're importing the procedure, this will actually properly generate it. So you can also get that all set up for what you need and then just simply export through that button right there, name it something, and then you can generate it. I've already done all this one for the tutorial and stuff like that. Well, not. It will be for uh, Monday's tutorial. I'll be covering that if it actually works. There's some issues that I had with um, Minecraft. I was going to 
do something a little bit different with it, but it didn't turn out. So we can test this by clicking the play button. We're not going to actually change the procedure because I know it already works. But uh, we'll go into the test environment. We'll just give it a quick test, make sure everything works as it's designed. And then we can basically move from there. So again, with the test environment, it's not exactly Minecraft. It's just a copy of Minecraft for testing mods. Um, it's actually a version that is designed to not really be compiled. So you can actually test code and stuff. So it's very specific. So regular mods won't actually work in the test environment, but you can use um, mods designed for it. So one of the things that I'm going to do disable that so I can think and we'll go ahead go single player creative mode and then we'll go ahead and create new world and this will just um, generate a new world for us so we can basically test the mod on just to make sure everything works so the important thing is we want to know if the teleporter can bring us between two points. Uh, the item, uh, the procedure that we have here basically has the eye of ender to select, copy the coordinates and set up to the other block. And then down here, this basically just um, applies it to the other block, I think, or something similar. And then over here, we're basically um, this is the script for basically when it's teleporting the player. Now the downside to this particular script is it's not cross-world compatible. Uh, I was actually trying to get that working uh, last night, but uh, because 1.18 is a little very buggy, like very, very, very buggy, um, for some reason, uh, when I teleported a couple times, it would reset the MBT data for the block. So I'm not sure if this is going to happen with this as well, but uh, we'll find out for sure. Uh, we need an eye vendor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just place one down here, select that, and tell us their coordinates. And then we'll go, let's say, we can actually go in the cave, that'll be fine too. Just kind of go in the cave a little bit. Right next to this creeper will be good. And I'll select that. So both of these should be linked. And then when we right click, we should be able to teleport. So we'll do that a couple times. Yeah, so this apparently works. Um, my method for basically going between the two different uh, biomes didn't seem to work, but as you can see, the script still works for this one, so that's good. We can actually teleport between the two, which would really suck if you actually spawned right here next to this creeper. But then again, you could just teleport away if you needed to. <laughs> but yeah, um, again, uh, that's basically how you can basically test the workspaces. All of my, my workspaces have, or my project files have at least one workspace in it. Uh, a lot of the newer ones i am basically creating folders inside of certain folders to say the version as well as the um create updated ones so this one will actually have the one that we just actually imported from as well as the ported version so let me show you how that basically is set up in the folder so just cr quit out of Minecraft and I'll just quickly go to my desktop. So I have the teleporter one set up now. This is a little bit laid out similar but a little bit different from what I had before. There's one called mCreator. This is basically where I store the procedures and workspaces now. If we click on either one of these it'll give us a version for when the tutorial was made. So for example the one that I ported it for for this one is 22 22.1 and then I was going to go ahead and create an improved version but I haven't been able to fix figure that out because of the bug with the MBT but the procedure is right in here we'll actually go ahead and we'll just put that in the main folder so it's 
obvious. So that's the procedure for it. And then if we go to workspaces and then back to the version, uh, again, there isn't one for that, so we can delete that. The original though is this file right here. So that one right there. And that's basically the compiled one that we just basically tested. So uh, what I do to actually export them is I go to file and then there's the middle one, it says import, and then there's two export ones, um, one called export to share a zip with run directory. Uh, we don't want that one, we want one called right above it, export workspace to shareable zip, and then there's a few dots behind it. So basically what that will do is it will create a zip file that we basically can import through that method. So again, importing it, all we need to do is basically go ahead and import the um, process through the launcher. It's always worked for me. Um, that's how we usually am able to test and continue working on projects and stuff like that from way older and stuff. But hopefully this video uh, explains a little bit how to do that. And now that you have the idea how to set up the workspace and see how things work and it, maybe there won't be as many bug reports. Uh, most cases, uh, there's most of the things should work. I don't see why they wouldn't. Uh, for the teleporter one, uh, this one exactly worked just as it was designed to still. So uh, the only difference was it needed to be on a different version. Uh, the procedures and everything were still in working order. So I don't know, we'll see how it all turns out. But um, most, most of the time, it's just people not understanding what all the different parts are. And um, I sometimes update tutorials that probably didn't need to be updated, but it just puts people's minds at ease. So, um, yeah, outside of that, thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching again. Peace out.